welcome back. It's another Halloween and another fun look. This year, take a look at how I'm creating my mime. So check it out and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so first step for the mime face, white it out. This is pretty simple. All you're gonna be doing is truly taking any sort of a white makeup that you like and you're going to be covering your entire face. It's important with the mime to keep it looking really theatrical and funky is to make sure it has a clean rim around your chin. You don't want to tailor this down to your neck at all. So keeping it nice and clean and tight right around your chin is going to really help emphasize the theatrical kind of cartoony element of this facial painting. set it with some white pressed powder. This also helps to create like a very mattifying effect if you didn't already have that with the paint you used. I used an acrylic matte paint so mine does have that but some of the grease paint ones and the ones that you would get at a party supply are definitely going to be a little more reflective so adding in any sort of a loose powder is going to help translate a little bit more of a matte finish right away. Okay, so this time I'm going to move into my eyebrows. There's a few different options you can do with the miming makeup. Um, some people like to take a glue stick and you can totally glue out your eyes and then add the white to it and it will matte out where your brow is and have a clean finish and then you can draw on your own. I actually am going to work with my brow. Um, my hair is really thick and they're dark, so I'm going to work with it and I'm going to accentuate them in a little bit of a caricature form. I'm going to do this with using black. Everything's going to be black. Um, it's supposed to look very dramatic and an angle brush. So this is how I'm going to be applying my brows. Something that I find super important with um, trying to convey expression when you're pulling your face together in this cartoon character is having a little bit of a different brow shape. So there's a ton that you can choose from when you're looking up and getting your inspiration. But I kind of wanted a little bit more of like a, I guess he's like concerned and like pensive. And so that's what I was going for when I was kind of creating my brow form. So I decided that I'm gonna warm up my crease slightly with just like a warm, neutral tone. I'm just gonna work from this palette. And I wanna say on a side note, <laughs> the suspenders are pulling my pants up for real. <laughs> I, I feel like Fred Mertz. I can't believe people really wore this. Like this was like an invention. <laughs> okay. They're uncomfortable. <laughs> if you've ever worn suspenders, you know what I'm saying. Ay, ay, ay. I just needed a little bit of like, I feel like. <laughs> Human beauty. <laughs> to make my eyes very expressive, I'm just gonna line them. Again, using just my black liner, gel liner, and an angle brush. And I'm just gonna kind of um, circulate my eye upper and lower lid and it's gonna be really simple. After that, I'm gonna be adding some false lashes on the bottom with brush strokes, but for right now, I'm just gonna line the eye. Okay, this is so good. When you're doing the lashes, you could either add false lashes you could piece your own lashes together with just putting on mascara and then using tweezers to kind of like piece them together. Or you could use brush strokes to add lashes on the bottom and that's what I'm gonna do. I think it adds like a very dramatic effect. I want my brows to be the emphasis on the top half of my face. And so for the bottom portion of my eye, I want there to be lower lashes. So we're gonna move into that. This is easy. Um, it's literally just taking your angle brush and slightly having angled tiny little lines coming down to give the illusion of like an expressive, very open and alert eye. I'm gonna be like the creepiest mime ever. <laughs> okay. I feel like I've seen some things. <laughs> I'm 
that one I'm bringing down to be my line. Oh yeah. Sure. So like it's my like here it is, Christy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give a little bit more depth on my upper eyelid because I just don't like that I see so much white. I thought I would like prefer that. Turns out I don't. So I'm gonna make a quick adjustment and then I'm gonna add some mascara onto my lashes to kind of seal off my eyes and move on from there. I would just like to say as a side note that my friend that films me, not only does she add pressure, but I watch her judge me <laughs> as I make decisions off the cuff and I see her going, <laughs> I yep. suggest. First of all, I like what you just did, so. Wow, I wouldn't have known that. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna move into the actual artistic element because this is clearly lacking that. But I'm gonna add a little bit of um, like the emotion and just um, like the freehand element. So what I've decided to do is I'm just gonna kind of extend a line down onto my cheek, seal it with a dot, because that's what I do. And then over here, I'm gonna give a little teardrop. Again, I'm just going to keep this I'm using this gel liner and an angle brush. I'm switching out my angle brushes throughout just so that they can maintain sharp and that they don't have a lot of product built up on them, which changes their shape and um, the definition because I really need this to be um, precise and keep the tips of these very clean and detailed. When I was doing my lashes, I extended my center one. Um, a little bit longer as I was adding it and that was to kind of guide me and angle me and what I'm going to be doing with creating like just a little bit of a dagger lash coming down. Um, for my dot I'm going to be switching into a felt tip liquid liner. Moving on to this side, I'm going to be doing my teardrop and I prefer to free on that. I feel like I have more control when I'm using a brush than when I'm using a liquid liner. The placement for this is going to kind of be midway between these. So I'm just going to come across on the other side and I'm going to add it right about here. So we're gonna move into the blush. For this, I like to use a lipstick and I'm using a matte pink lipstick and I'm just gonna do tiny little circles and feather them out. Okay, so once I have my cheeks finished, I'm gonna move into my lips. I decided to do a solid, bold, bright red lip. So of course for that, you always want to begin with a liner. Um, I'm kind of wishing that I would have begun with my lip because speaking for this whole video <laughs> with white lips is frightening. And then I'm just going to again move into my custom lip palette and use one of my matte, probably a little bit more of an orangey tone red and I'm going to fill this in. I'm gonna um, add a little bit of a black eyeliner and I'm just gonna kind of trace really, really lightly on the outside of my lips to kind of give a little bit more of a definition. Um, hopefully after I feather this out, it's not gonna be super noticeable, but I just wanna let you guys know as I'm doing it. So as far as the mind makeup process, I would say that this is a completed version. Um, there's a few features that you can add and accessories to make it a little bit more creative and I'll go ahead and add those now. Okay guys, so here's the finished look. Some things that I added was some white gloves, a beret of course, and some super hot and comfortable suspenders. <laughs> Again, this mime costume is super fun and creative and I feel like you can really implement parts of your own personality when you're adding all of these details. You can kind of look at lots of different um, inspo and pull what you would like. And if you wanna see some of my other Halloween looks from this year, be sure to check me out on Instagram. Follow me at basics. You can see it right here. Happy Halloween.
What would a mime drink? A fake drink. Oh my God. <laughs> fake shot. <laughs> Just fake. <kidding. laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. 